It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a thunderbolt. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com and uh, I'll tell you what, the intro I filmed the first time I did this video was better than that. Uh, but I've since had a cup of coffee. I'm a, I'm a little wired and uh, I don't know, that just came out. But this is a fake unboxing because I already filmed the unboxing and then when I went to edit it, my memory card totally failed. So I'm shooting it over again. Uh, it'll be a little fakey style. I've already set the phone up, but that's okay. You don't care. You just want to see the phone. It's the HTC Verizon Thunderbolt the first 4G LTE smartphone for Verizon. They've got a couple of data modems out already, but this is the first smartphone. This one's been anticipated since it, it uh, launched at CES. It's been delayed a few times, but it's out now, or it will be out tomorrow, actually. I'm digging the blacked out box here. Very cool. It's kind of embossed there, black on black Verizon down here at the bottom, HTC on the side, kind of embossed there, HTC Thunderbolt, very cool. Uh, this one will be available tomorrow, I'm filming this, um, I'm filming this today, duh. I'm filming this on March 16th, it'll be available March 17th, $249.99 on contract, two year contract, 250 bucks, makes it uh, quite expensive as far as cell phones go, but you get a lot here. Uh, so let's open the box and see what we've got going on. Thanks to the folks at Verizon Wireless for lending us this one uh, for review. We will send it back when we're done with it. Not keeping this, it's a loaner. Uh, and you can see, you know, I've already done, the, I took the foam off, I tried to put it back on. Uh, it's just a hot mess right now, but that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll try to recreate the unboxing experience. So we're gonna remove this before use, and we're gonna hit power, and the phone's gonna come on. The power button is a little bit, uh, not a lot of action on the power button, so it's kind of hard for me actually to tell when I've actually turned, you know, hit the button and turned it on or not. There we go. So while this is firing up, in the box, in the, uh, I, like the I like the deal with the box here, the black dot on the outside, the bright red on the inside. Very cool. Uh, you get your master your device, master the Thunderbolt manual. You get your 4G SIM card. LTE uses a SIM card. CDMA does not. Uh, you know, more, more acronyms and standards and stuff. The end consumer probably isn't really going to know the difference or care or whatever. You get your phone set up, you're good to go. But uh, basically, it's a CDMA and, and EVDO, but then also with the LTE, you've got your SIM card. Here it goes. Thunderbolt. Also in the box, you get your AC charger. It's USB-based, and it works with the USB to micro USB cable you also get. Now we'll get back to the phone and uh, I guess in a way you get the benefit of me having played with it for a little while already. It's a solid device, uh, 4.3 inch display WVGA so it's a big screen. Uh, it feels really good in the hand but it is kind of heavy. A uh, little bit thick, uh, you know kind of reminiscent of the the Evo. I wish I had an Evo here on hand to, to compare it side to side because you've got the big screen, you've got the kickstand, it's made by HTC, you know very very similar in some ways. Uh, but, but it's solid it's um, uh, plastic on the back with the, uh, the, the metal, the brush metal accent kickstand there. Um, it's a little bit of a soft grip plastic. Feels pretty good. Nice curve to it. Uh, but again, you know, it is a big device and it isn't particularly lightweight. But, you know, I think uh, you notice it's there. But, but I don't think it's a deal breaker if you're looking for this phone. Uh, but basically, you've got on the front 4.3 inch WVGA display, of course it's, it's touch sensitive, multi-touch, capacitive touch. You've got your four Android buttons on the bottom, capacitive touch buttons. You've got up top an LED indicator light, your earpiece, and then a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera for video chat, self portraits, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, on the right here, you've got a rocker switch for your volume. On the bottom, you've got a microphone. On the left side, your micro USB port. Up top, you've got a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. You've got the battery cover, little release thing. You've got, it's not a release, it's just, you know, where you wedge something in there to take it off. You've got a microphone, another microphone up top. And then you've got that lock power switch, which, you know, is fairly recessed. And then also, um, just not a lot of action on it, not a lot of give there. So, a little bit, uh, I don't think it's a big deal that you get used to it. Just the first couple of times I pressed it, I wasn't sure if I pressed it. On the back, you've got a kickstand with Google. I'm always got a peg leg with Google on it. Um, Kind of like the Evo there. And then the 4G branding, of course. Up top, 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, autofocus, and 720p HD video capture. 
Uh, oh, I hit a button and got visual voicemail set up, which I did not mean to do. Anyway, we'll go back to the uh, to the phone here. And so you've got the 4G, you've got Wi-Fi as well. Um, the phone will require, obviously, a voice and data plan. So Verizon's uh, data plan or voice plans start at uh, 40 bucks, I believe. I'm going to get the tear sheet out here to make sure. Nationwide talk plans begin at $39.99 monthly access, and an unlimited 4G LTE data plan is $29.99 monthly access. So $250 up front after re or on contract, and then uh, you're starting at $70 bucks a month for limited voice and unlimited data. And then if you want to go with the mobile hotspot app, here it is, mobile hotspot, you can connect up to eight devices via Wi-Fi uh, over the network here, the 4G network or 3G, depending on where you are. And uh, that will be free until May 15th. Uh, you know, first one's free. And then after that, 20 bucks a month for two gigs of data. So you get unlimited data on the phone for that $30 mandatory uh, smartphone plan. And then for an additional $20 a month, you can get up to two gigs of mobile hotspot data. So there you go. More services, more complicated billing statements, I guess. Anyway, uh, inside the phone, it's a one gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdra Snapdragon processor. It's single core, not dual core, but it's the newest version. Uh, you get eight gigs of internal storage, 32 gig micro SD card pre-installed. So for 250, you're getting roughly 40 gigs of, of available storage, a little less than that after formatted, uh, which is a little bit more than you get on a $299 iPhone 4, if you want to make that comparison. Uh, also, like we said, 4.3 inch display, the two cameras, uh, you've got the Wi-Fi built in, and then it comes with some 4G. You've got the newest version of HTC Sense, so you know the thumbnail view with all your different screens, uh, the HTC apps, Friends Stream, and Peep, and that stuff. And then in your settings, you've got uh, the the stuff we've seen on some of the, the newer HTC devices, and you saw some of this stuff at CES and again at Mobile World Congress. Uh, the scene and sound set personalization menus where you can just kind of set everything all at once. You know, a scene will have your wallpaper and your apps and, you know, everything kind of all set up there. Uh, you know, your app shortcuts, that kind of stuff. Uh, sound set will set all of your sounds all at once. Or you can go in and customize things, you know, one by one if you so choose. Uh, there are also some 4G specific apps on here. There's Bitbop, uh, there's Let's Golf 2, there's Rock Band, uh, there is, uh, where was the other one here? TuneWiki. So we'll do a little demo of TuneWiki. Um, let's play some videos with synced lyrics and we will search for, uh, let's search for, the Foos have a new song that just came out. I don't know if the song's out, but the video debuted. I don't know if it's going to be available here, but we'll see what we get back. Now, this is on 4G right now. I am not uh, set up on Wi-Fi. Uh, 4G, I have a Verizon uh, Pantech data modem that I've been checking out, and uh, 4G has been really, really impressive out here in Northern California. I also used it down in San Diego uh, a few weeks ago. Very impressive. Um, all right, I don't see that new video, but let's go. Uh, we'll go Everlong. Let's see what TuneWiki is all about here. You've got your synced lyrics there on the bottom. Let's crank it. Oh, we could we could do the kickstand jam here if we wanted to. Oh, see, it's like fake kickstand. Anyway, it's a while before these lyrics come on. I know this song it takes a little while. Let's scan ahead. Ask of you, you gotta promise not to stop when I say when she sang. All right, so there you go. That's how TuneWiki works. Uh, more interestingly, though, talking about the LTE network, uh, not rolled out everywhere, but like I said, it's been very impressive when I've used it with the data modem around uh, these parts on the West Coast. So I already installed the Speed Test app. So let's go to Speed Test. And I also happen to see this is the benefit of me having already done the video and the memory card failed. It was like a run through. You're getting a much smoother video experience here, um, which is unusual for me. If you know my videos, you know smooth is not my middle name. So here's my MacBook, and I've got the Verizon 4G modem, the Pantech modem, and I'm gonna turn the turn the computer on, and we'll tilt the camera up a little bit. We'll do a little impromptu speed test here. Now I've got the LTE hooked up. 
Uh, airport is off, so there's no Wi-Fi. It's just running the LTE. And we're going to go, let's find a server. Let's find San Francisco. Go. So this is on the uh, Verizon 4G LTE network with the data modem. We're getting a ping of 50. We're getting download speeds approaching 9 megs. This is a little slower than it was the last time I used it. Last time I was getting 12 to 15 pretty consistently. It also kind of depends on, on which server you're using to test. And There are a lot of things about speedtest.net that I need to I need to talk to somebody who really knows the deal to find the best way to, uh, to really assess the speed here. But um, anyway, for the purposes of just comparing the modem to the Thunderbolt. So on the San Francisco server, 50 uh, millisecond ping, 8.86 down, 9.39 up, which is... Um, you know, which is nice uh, upload speed. So let's go to find the San Francisco server. San Francisco, done. Speed test, begin. So ping was 101. Down, it looks like we're getting a lot less. Interesting. Down was about 5. Up was 18. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. Uh, interesting stuff. Um, so the download speeds were about half. The upload speeds were twice as fast on the Thunderbolt. Let's uh, and, and 18 up is crazy. Let's change the server. Let's do one more. Um, let's go. And you know, it's interesting because uh, I don't know where the towers are. I don't really know how this stuff is routed. You know, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go. Why not? Let's go up. Uh, Let's go Modesto, and we'll do the test here on the Modesto server. One more just for fun. 82 ping. Now we're getting about 6,000 kilobits, or about 6 megabits down. A little less, now it's down to 5. So it gave 48, it peaked at around 6, and 25 up, which is insane. That's really, in late terms, for uploading, that's really, really fast. Fast to the point where it makes me wonder if there's an error in the testing. Um, I'm not saying there is, I'm just saying that is really fast. Uh, of course, that was probably a mobile, you know, that probably wasn't accurate because that was a mobile, uh, a mobile test with a smaller upload packet, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is not meant to be any sort of scientific test, just for fun. So here's Modesto. And go. Again, we're looking at, what were my results here? 48, 4.8 down, 25.8 up, 82 ping. So ping is 51, and 10.4 down. So again, about twice as fast on the download speed. And then the upload speed, the Thunderbolt, five times as fast. So what does that all mean? I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm going to investigate. It means 4G is faster than 3G, and it means that uh, the Thunderbolt is capable of some stuff, for sure. But, uh, I don't know, 25 up seems kind of fishy. Anyway, there you go, a first look. The HTC Thunderbolt for Verizon. It's the first LTE 4G phone on the Verizon Wireless Network. Again, it's available March 17th, which is tomorrow, uh, at the time I'm recording this. Anyway, March 17th, 2011, for $249.99 on a two-year contract. Uh, requires a voice plan and the 4G LTE unlimited data plan and then it's got the optional mobile hotspot feature for 20 bucks a month for up to 2 gigs of mobile hotspot use although they're giving it away for free until May 15th if you have this phone. Much much more on the Thunderbolt on Verizon's 4G network on all the other new phones coming out. Did I say this is Android 2.2? I don't think I said that at the beginning. I said it in the first time I filmed this video. But yeah, it's Android 2.2 with the latest version of HTC Sense. So, you know, know that for what it's worth. 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, 8 megapixel camera with HD video, 1.3 megapixel camera on the front, and a kickstand. Until next time, my name's Noah. Thanks for watching much, much more on all this stuff over at technobuffalo.com.